Adam, playoff this weekend. How are you and the lads feeling ahead of this one? Yeah, we're positive. Um, we've done everything we possibly could to prepare for it. Um, left no stone unturned. So, and yeah, as I say, we're excited for it. Really, obviously, we worked the whole season to get to the position we've got to now, and now just keep doing what we've been doing the whole season. Nothing changes. Um, we've prepared for every game as best we could, and obviously, it's held us in good stead. 86 points in second. So, just same again, really. Uh, nothing changes, and. Um, Going to it like we've been to going into every game, really. Obviously, for yourself personally, coming in in January, how have you found the last few months uh, being here at Barnet? Really enjoyable, yeah. The lads um, welcomed me so, so quickly. Um, I didn't know how it'd be with obviously the team doing so well, um, a player coming in, but they've welcomed me with open arms, and it's local for me anyway, so it's it's, it's ideal. But the lads have made it feel like home straight away. So, it's thanks to them, thanks to the staff as well, who. Um, showed their interest early on and made me feel valued and stuff which I haven't had for a while in my career so everything's um, lined up well really yeah and for you personally you've got four career promotions including the league two title last year of Leighton Orient how important is that experience going into the playoffs and is that experience that you can give to some of the younger lads that have not been in this position before uh, I'm not sure how important it is really um, for this specific one as I said with the last promotion I had three before that and completely different um, experiences, uh, completely different circumstances every single time. So um, I can give my stories, but whether that will help the lads, I'm not sure. I think it is literally, this is the season. Um, lads have been there before, sort of know what to go through, so they can give scenarios of what games might look like, how you might be feeling before the games, um, how to control certain things. But like I said before, all we can do is control what we do. And there's not much what we can control. There's a lot out of our control. Um, the pitch, the referee, the weather, all we can do is work as hard as we can, have good body language and, and react to anything that doesn't go our way as best we can. So as long as we do that, everything else will take care of itself, really. Obviously, our opponents tomorrow, tomorrow Sully Hull Moors, were quite a thrilling 2-2 draw last time out. You got a goal in that game as well. It's going to be a tough challenge tomorrow, but one that we will feel confident going into. Yeah, I think we're confident at home against anyone, to be honest. Um, but that doesn't mean that we'll be overly confident. I think we'll obviously uh, see what they're good at analyse their threats and try and nullify them as well as um, do what we've done at home all season to be honest and, and we've made this a fortress and this is when it's going to count in the playoff winner takes all sort of games so yeah I think obviously with the fans as well should be a good turn up so we're hoping for it to be a good atmosphere which will help us um, because there'll be times in the 95, 100 minutes maybe 120 minutes where we will need them we'll need each other and we'll need the fans so as, as many we're all a team tomorrow the staff, the players, the fans so as long as we um, keep that in mind, I think we should be all right. Yes, yeah, touched on there. Obviously, with our home record and looking to be a, f a full house tomorrow, how important, uh, how uh, crucial are fans in games like this and how much can, does it give players a boost? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm always a believer that we should be the ones to give the fans a boost, um, that we should play in a way that gives them, gets them off their seats and makes them want to support us. But um, real fans, real supporters are the ones that when it isn't going our way for whatever reason, um, like these circumstances out of our control, they're with us there to push us through and they'll get the plaudits after if that is the case and we're all a team and, uh, and hopefully we'll all go to Wembley together all knowing that we all contributed to the, to the win. So yeah, that's what all I can ask is for them to stick with us, um, not through the, the, the times where we're playing well, when it's going well we, we might be 1-0 up, 2-0 up, also the times when things aren't going our way for one reason or another and we might be 1-0 down, 2-0 down, they're the times when we really need them. And <laughs> and uh, for you personally, what would it mean to get to the promotion final at Wembley? Um, it would be good. It wouldn't mean it wouldn't mean too much if we lost there. So I think, obviously, in our mind, we just we've got one game at a time. Obviously, this is the game that we need to win. Otherwise, it all means nothing. And uh, and then after that, we'd be looking to win that game. But we're not we're not looking to get to Wembley because it's a nice stadium. We're looking to get promotion because we've worked so hard this year as a team, as a squad, staff, fans. And we feel that this that's where the club deserves to be after all our hard work. So that's in our minds as well. Adam, all the best and thank you for your time. Thank you.